Hello everyone, and welcome to this movie review for Marvel's Captain Marvel. This is the most recent MCU movie, and as people who have seen my previous Marvel movie reviews know, I put them in the categories of either more serious or comedy, and this falls under serious, and right off the bat, I have to put it up there with Black Panther. I still think Black Panther's better, but I'll get to that in a bit. So it's very clear, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was about what I expected, but a little better than that. I honestly don't know where any of the complaints come from on the internet. I had maybe two complaints about the movie, one of which was, really, they uh, they did X thing again uh, from a writing standpoint, and then there were also two really crude and unnecessary jokes in the movie, which are of the same subject for that matter. It's, Whatever. It's like, hey, okay, cool, it's fine if you want to put them in there, but they were really unnecessary and really detracted from the um, moment of the movie. My, other than those, and the reason, while well, this isn't a complaint, uh, the reason that I don't consider it as good as Black Panther is because while I consider this so far the best written Marvel movie, to the point in which I can't even go into detail as to why it's, in my opinion, considered the best written Marvel movie because it would go right into spoilers. But the pacing wasn't that great. It was a lot of talky-talky exposition, less show, more tell. But the third act was a lot more of what you would expect from a Marvel movie. Action, action, and some explanation here and there. And the it, like any good Marvel intellectual property or media, it still, even at a serious moment, had a good lighthearted and comedy moments. Uh, this this never got dark or anything like that. It was honestly a fun movie the entire way through, but still a far more serious plot. It was great to see a de-aged version of Samuel Jackson playing Nick Fury. I imagine he loved playing the more naive version of Nick Fury. Uh, it was also great to see uh, Greg Clark as... Coulson again, who would be great to see back in the movies, but that's a gripe that I have for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Netflix shows. The lack of crossover between them, how the shows acknowledge the movies, but the movies don't acknowledge the shows kind of things, but that's a discussion for another time if people want me to go over that. I highly recommend seeing this if you've got any qualms about it in terms of female character or even a knockoff of Wonder Woman. Go see it. Like, th those aren't valid. Like, that was one of my biggest concerns was the latter of those two, that it would just be like, okay, this kind of feels like Wonder Woman, the character continuously gets told no by men, and then there's still a romance to it. It's like, no, no, none of that stuff. I think there's a couple moments where she's told no by men, but other than one other character for the most part, she is the only female adult character in the movie, and, I, like, she pretty much is, it, it's a story more about understanding who you are and like understanding yourself and it was just it was great i i'm i look forward to more like this honestly than i do a lot of the other movies where they just end up pure power fantasies or ridiculous stupid stuff i like the black panther political drama kind of stuff more as well but that's again not this just comparing the fact that out of the serious movies, again, I think this is my second favorite movie in the MCU right now. Um, regardless, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. And if you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to hear spoiler-based thoughts on this movie, or more details of the movie in general, or comics and such, such as the comic version of this character, or the cartoon version of this character, as she's been included in more cartoons more often, or anything else about Marvel or comics in general, or movies, go ahead and ask. And if you want to see more like this, be it my other movie reviews, my video game reviews, or my board game reviews, all three of these I try to get to more often, and anything else that I do on my channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.